how to set up google analytics for beginners step by step hey guys welcome in this video i'm going to show you how you can set up google analytics as a complete beginner and you can attach it to any of your website blog or a youtube channel to get the analytics from google so let's get into it first of all you actually have to go to google analytics and it will take you right here you will also be able to access it from your google apps uh, google analytics is a provided by google and it is to customize our uh, websites web and mobile apps that we have created we will be able to connect them right here and get the analytics and the stats that we want to improve our business so getting started with google analytics is actually really easy all you have to do is you're going to go to analytics.google.com and you sign in through your google account so if you have a google account you will be able to sign in very easily so once you've signed in to google analytics it will take you right here now this is where the setup begins we need to actually connect our uh, websites here with google analytics and we can also connect our apps that we have created uh, with google analytics we have our own reports that we get we have the explore section here we have advertising and configure once you get to the website here you can connect it for, for instance i want to connect a new website now i have already connected one but i can switch between the websites anytime i want so i have one website added right now we can go to the home page and we can connect more if we want so we have to go to the settings right here this is our admin so once you get to the admin this is where you will be able to create a new account and also create a profit let's click on create a new account so this will allow me to actually create another account on google analytics and i will be able to then add a new property to it so you can give your account a name let's call it sarah for now this is like my name so it is required then we have to add some of the account information here. We have the data sharing options. So you're going to select this one, modeling contributions and business insights and technical support as well. But if you want to also get Google products, then you're going to check this option. So these are going to be the data sharing options. Like Google Analytics will get the data and share the data to other Google products as well. Uh, so I do want that. So I'm going to check this option. But if you do not want that, you can leave this. Then we also have account specialist here. Uh, so you can check this one. Then you're going to click on next. So the next is going to be our personal information. This is where you will enter the property name. This is where you will enter your business or app data. You can see your website or app data. So here you will enter a property name. Let's say that I have a website. I will enter my website name here or my app name. Then we're going to select the reporting time zone. We're going to select the currency. In country, you will be able to select your country here. And then we have currency. In currency, you will select the same currency as you have uh, for your country. Then you can click on show advanced option here. So in advanced option, we have um, some of the analytics properties that we can create, but this is actually available after uh, this date. Uh, it's not available yet, so you can leave this option. Now, then we're going to click on next. So here we have to enter information our, about our business. So about your business, first one, you have to select the category. You will select whatever category your business is in. Uh, we have arts and entertainment. We have auto and vehicles. We have like finance, games, health whatever your business your app or website is in you will select it so in my case is actually a uh, where is it we have like computers and electronics or technology so i'm gonna go ahead and select my category from here moving on we have to select the business size so you will select the number of employees you have small medium large or very large you will get the number of employees here so mine is actually a small business which is like one to ten employees moving on we have how do you intend to use google analytics with your business this is where you will select what you actually want to do with google analytics major customer engagement with my site or app yes we want that you will check this optimize my site or app experience we also want to optimize it of course measure data across multiple devices or platforms so if you want to measure the data from like multiple devices then you will select this one optimize my advertising cost so so if you want to uh, optimize of course your advertising cost then you will select it increase my conversions measure content monetization analyze my online sales measure app installs measure lead generation and others as well so you can check all of these if you want and if you feel like there is something missing you will select other then type it right here what you are looking for so we will be able to do all of these things with google analytics then you're gonna click on create and your new profile will be your new account right here on google analytics will be created so now you can have like more than two account here and you will 
will be able to uh, do the account settings here. We have account access management. So this is also really important. If you have different team members and if you want to add them. So what we do is you're going to go to the access management hit this plus button at the top, click on add users, enter their email address right here, and you will be able to invite them as different roles. We have different roles here, ad uh, administrator, editor, marketer, analyst, viewer, none. So let's say I'm actually inviting an editor. So I will select this one uh, and I will click on add and this person will be added. Similarly, I can invite uh, maybe a marketer this way and I will have a team. So this is actually a pretty good platform to manage and actually collaborate or with your team. Then we have all filters. This is where I will be able to create the filters. Then we have account change history and rubbish bin here. Then we have create property. Now this is where we actually create a property for the account. Click on create property and you will be able to now add a property to Mayor. Like you will add a website here. You will add an app. So it's quite similar to what we did with an account. You have to enter the property name. Then you will select your time zone. You will select your country and currency as well. Then you will click on next. We can actually create 99 uh, properties with an account. So it's like almost like 100 because uh, including this one, this is going to be 100. So we can create these properties with Google Analytics and we will be able to then manage them. As a whole, when you create an account, you can also add a website. So once you create a, 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 a property, you can see I have added a website. It gives you the link to the website that you can open up anytime and it will give you the analytics for that one. So if I click on the report section here, it will take me to my um, reports. This is where I will be able to see the, the reports for the property that I have added. Here we have real time uh, report. Then we have life cycle. We have engagement, monetization and overview. Here I will be able to see the users that visited my uh, website. We have new users. We have engagement. We have total revenue. The website is generating for us. Just like we have like a YouTube studio, which is a very good platform uh, to get all the insights to our YouTube. YouTube channel. Similarly, we have like Google Analytics to give us different analytics to our website and our and our app. Click on add comparison. We can also add a comparison website so that we can uh, get a, a competitor's analysis too. Then we have explore. In explore, I'll be able to create a new freeform funnel exploration and path. So we can also uh, explore the template gallery here that will allow me to create these kind of uh, segments and these kind of different uh, dashboards. Advertising, we can also create advertising campaigns with Google Analytics because once we are getting the analytics for the you know website for the app, of course, advertising and promotion is uh, plays an important role in it. So what we can do is we can actually actually create advertising from here and Google Analytics will actually help us optimize our advertising cost and I will be able to add a marketing agent right here with me. They will keep track of everything and we will be able to run uh, advertising campaigns. So I don't need any other advertising platform. I, I don't need to buy any other platform. We can just create uh, from here and get analytics for any ads that I'm running. So even if you're running ads on Facebook, you will be able to use Google Analytics to get the results. And and then we have configure here and as I showed you, you will go to the admin right here settings and this is where we add a new account and then we create a new property. This is like admin setting and in user setting, you will be able to see all the users that you have added and this is like your information here. So yeah, guys, this is how you set up Google Analytics. Uh, you can get started uh, with creating your own account and then adding your property. And after that, uh, keeping track of everything, all the stats and analytics of your web or app. I hope that I was a big help. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.